guys welcome back so it's my birthday well i mean the day that i'm filming this technically is september 28th which is my birthday so i'm filming this on my birthday but you're not seeing this on my birthday although i did upload a video today on my birthday which was the five best louis vuitton bags you can buy i will link it right up here in case you missed it but this is gonna be my birthday unboxing because today is my birthday and I have an unboxing. This is not the box that this bag actually came in. You guys know I usually film my unboxings for Instagram, so I did that when I originally got the bag, but I still wanna give the, you know, the illusion that I'm actually unboxing it here. So here we go, here is a box with nothing inside. But of course I'm gonna insert the Instagram unboxing in this video and then we'll talk a little bit more about the purchase afterwards. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up for my birthday. I think you guys are gonna freaking love it. It is from my wish list. So if you guys wanna see my newest Chanel handbag, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say if you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I. I do if you like luxury unboxings you like handbags you like shoes you like jewelry any of those things tickle your fancy i gotta stop saying pickle honestly i've been saying pickle in every single video so if any of those things sound interesting to you definitely subscribe if you're not already and definitely follow me on instagram if you're not already it's just the katie danger i post every single day over there honestly it's a lot of reels it's a lot of outfit of the days a lot of stories a lot it's just a lot so if you guys like any of that type of content definitely follow me there as well and with all that out of the way let's roll into the unboxing Can you guys believe that I found the perfect Chanel? Can you act like a perfect? I'm saying you're perfect. I need you to act perfect. Seriously, this is just the perfect bag. So let me let me explain. Let me explain. If you guys saw my wish list video, which if you didn't, I'll link it right up here for you. If you saw that, then you know that I was looking for a Chanel boy bag. I wanted a small Chanel boy bag, which this is the size small. I used to have the old medium size twice. I had a black one and I had like a army green olive green kind of a color this bag popped up on coco approved and if you guys don't know coco approved i will link it in the description box i have spoken about them before i use them all the time that's like one of my absolute favorite places to shop pre-loved i just spit <laughs> projectile spit this is like the tiffany blue color and this is caviar leather of course and it's like the light gold hardware i'm not sure if it's gonna come across it's so freaking shiny and i instantly fell in love with this bag there is not any damn anything on this bag it is legitimately perfect the corners which is kind of a big deal for the boy bag the corners are in perfect condition and everything is just it's just perfect about it so as soon as i saw this tiffany blue color i flipped out and i bought it <laughs> Tiffany blue is just one of those colors that Chanel doesn't come out with that often and it's kind of a unicorn. It's something that is definitely sought after. I needed a boy bag in my life and this was the perfect color in my opinion and especially with Fendi doing their collab with Tiffany. I actually had already bought this bag before that was even announced so as soon as I saw that they were doing that collab, I was just like, oh, this is the perfect time for me to unbox this because everyone is losing their damn mind about Tiffany Blue. I am a little nervous about these things getting caught in my hair because you guys know like everything gets caught in my hair. But I saw somebody recommend tying some clear hair ties around it. So I am going to try that. I use these like clear rubber bands on Alana's hair sometimes. So I think I'm going to take two of those, tie them here and see what up because i did buy this from coco approved which by the way i cannot recommend enough i told you guys i have purchased several things from them before definitely my trendy cc i got from coco approved i also got my purple heart bag from them i i love shopping through them and i definitely do trust them personally but definitely if you ever buy anything from anybody still get it authenticated 
if you guys didn't see the video, it's, it's in the cards, okay? So because I did buy this from them, I did end up saving some money, which is a big deal because if you guys know this Tiffany blue color, it usually goes for a premium, like over retail. I think the fact that it's on a boy bag is part of the reason because you know not everybody is into the way bag i seriously don't understand why i freaking love this bag and i think i dress like in general a little bit more dressy i think i mean i but i still think that this bag goes beautifully with my wardrobe and i i just love this color so much you guys cannot tell me that this tiffany blue isn't everything from using it the one time, I only used it one time so far, but from using it the one time that I did use it, I can tell you that this is the perfect size. This is the perfect size. I would not recommend that anybody purchase the boy bag in any other size than this one. I mean, I think it only comes in this one and old medium now, right? Maybe it still comes in new medium. I'm not 100% sure. I should check that out. Either way, I think this is the perfect size. It is just so cute and it still fits almost exactly the same amount as the old medium. And this shiny freaking gold hardware is stunning. The other two boy bags that I had, both I believe had ruthenium hardware. Definitely the black one did. I can't remember the green one, but I really think it was. So the fact that this is like so shiny and beautiful, I think gives it a touch of like femininity. Femin femininity. Feminine. Nitty. that's right <laughs> don't do that i was right otherwise this bag is very you know like i said nonchalant casual and not dressed up at all i think that shiny hardware just dresses it up like a teensy bit more and i freaking love it i cannot wait for you guys to see the outfit that i put together with this so freaking stunning definitely follow me on instagram because that's where all the ootds always are but yes i'm so excited about my new edition i hope you guys like it too definitely let me know in the comments what do you think about the boy bag what do you think about this color what do you think about this combination all together i really want to know your thoughts like what what do you think do you think this was a good choice for my birthday bag because i personally i'm obsessed personally but yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram i post every single day and i do also want to say thank you so much to everybody who wished me a happy birthday over on instagram you guys are seriously you are the sweetest but yeah that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys in my next video bye honestly i don't think that was great but you know who's not redoing it <laughs>